do it. Just do it. <laughs> it's you will spend so much energy and time thinking about it instead of actually doing it. Mm. So I want to move on to a topic which I'm sure many people will be interested in. How do you fund your lifestyle? So this will be a dream for many people listening and I'm sure they'll be curious and want to do it for themselves. So how do you fund your lifestyle? So Instagram is only like a snippet of the picture. So that is like 50% of our workload is dedicated towards social media and the photography. Yeah, and we get collaborations and stuff through Instagram, which are the paid work. And we get those every, well, I'd say we get monthly stuff, but it depends on obviously the brands we work with and the kind of range they're willing to pay. But uh, I also run a side business as well, uh, which I basically help uh, distribute candy water machines to people all over the world. And that's more to do with my health and well-being side of stuff. So, um, but yeah, we've recently taken on a team, which is really cool, who help us source out work and collaborations because yeah we love that side of it we love working with brands and we love connecting with different types of uh retailers and things like that that sell and distribute incredible products especially if they've got like a strong ethos as well yeah to Mm. uh, work with any and all like products that get flung our way so we're quite um quite we've got high standards for who we work with (laughs) Yeah, and long-term collaborations as well. So through Instagram, we do get quite a bit of those, which are a great source of income for us um, in the long-term scheme of things. But we're also quite minimal. So even though it looks like we live in this luxury lifestyle, like... We, we don't, yeah, we don't spend loads of money. No, we like, don't. We're just super I mean, we're, we're, in, <laughs> yeah, we're in a van in Portugal. Uh, camping is seven euros 50 a night. Mm. Uh, cooking most evenings um yeah but yeah we we have like multiple streams and obviously luke earns some money from the presets as well that's another stream of income so we kind of have quite a few that flow into Mm. um our direction in terms of how we earn money on the road fantastic and do you have any advice that you can give to other people who dream of living this lifestyle and becoming influencers and traveling the world paid for just do it just (laughs) it's you will spend so much energy and time thinking about it instead of actually doing it that's mm. that's, yeah. that's what we learned and that's why it took us so long to realize that travel is what we wanted to do and we kick ourselves all the time because we could have done this two years ago we could have started sooner we could have been like two steps ahead of where we are now um yeah and there's there's obviously there's never a right time to start um so as long as you just do it if you've got the passion, commit to it 100% and you're all good. Yeah, it's important, I think, to know as well that even though there's so many influencers and people out there doing what you want to do, like there is always space for you to mm. show up and achieve what you want to do yeah. as well. Because, yeah, one of the stories I actually read online was a girl during lockdown. She, um, she, had, she was an artist and she had no idea about social media and she created this Instagram account uh, based on her artwork and it was like, um, she had these Lego pieces. I can't remember her name, but she had these Lego pieces. And she basically filmed and took photos of this beautiful landscape that she created out of Lego. Oh. And yeah, and was it a yeah, it was a photographer and an yeah, artist. So she was no, she was a travel photographer, and because she couldn't travel, she created these like miniature landscapes like tasks with the lego figures and her instagram grew from like six to like 300k over wow. lockdown and it's one of those things that we just say to people like you don't have to have xyz amount of followers like mm. you just have to love what you want to do and trust that no matter what like you'll learn the, yeah. the tools and trips and t- uh, tips and tricks that you need to learn to become successful so yeah like luke said mm. just start and don't procrastinate yeah. <laughs> <laughs>